The president visited the Rukmale Dharma Vijayaloka temple in Kottava last afternoon. After engaging in religious observances, the president visited the Mahanayaka of the Sri Kalyani Samagri Dharma Mahasangha Sabha, Most Venerable Ittapani Dhamma Lankar Thero. It is because of your advice that I was able to come here as the president. If not, I will be coming here as Ranil Vikramasinghe. When I was considering taking up the post of Prime Minister, you told me to take up the post for the sake of the country, leaving aside other factors. That is where this journey started. I believe that if all of us work hard, we will be able to rebuild this country. Because of the requests made by you and other religious leaders, an all-party rule is becoming possible. We have invited every faction. You also have a responsibility to remind them to fulfill their responsibilities. Divisive politics will not harm the government or the opposition. It will lead to collapse of the constitution and democracy. This is the final opportunity left. Every one of us in parliament must realize that and act accordingly. But first we must do something to alleviate the people from the suffering they are now facing. We must all work for that and ultimately create a better society. I would like to say that I hope to unite the country while also being sympathetic to certain people who went on a wrong path and fulfill all my responsibilities. If we follow this path, we will be able to build a better society in one or two decades. You took over the country during a difficult time. You have taken up the responsibility for the future of the nation without any doubts or fears. The Mahasangha and the people of the country are happy that you became president. You are a leader with experience. At a time when everyone is suspicious about the future of the country, you took over the country. At this moment, the Mahasangha is invoking blessings with much hope and happiness. Mr. President, you must first build trust between the government and the people. Lack of trust between the people and the government can cause a serious rift. As a leader, you are bound to protect law and order. Fulfilling that responsibility is not a sin or a crime. You must fulfill the responsibility you are entrusted with. If you can't, you shouldn't take up those positions. Therefore, we invite you to protect the constitution of the country and protect democracy. Allow democratic protests to take place. I urge you to create an environment where everyone can live without fear. Establishing an all-party government is good. If any politician is avoiding this situation, that person must be rejected from society. We believe the people will reject them. All politicians must join an all-party government if they are thinking about the well-being of the country and her future.